Here we go. Let's play some hockey. In the early going, Montreal with the rush. Quick shot by Owen Lawton on goal. It is stopped, and we're going to have a face-off early on. Yeah, quick quick shot with a screen from a defenseman, and goalie uh, kind of misplayed it, and actually uh, he wasn't sure where it went, but it went outside the rink for a, uh, for a whistle. So here we go on the face-off. Controlled by St. Joe's behind the net. Sikowski in the corner, digging it out. Gets over to Champiti. Neither team's really going to change anything from what they did in previous games in this tournament. Loyola's very disciplined on their forecheck, and they always have a third man high in the zone. Coming back, back down, Urbani over on the near side, trying to get it. Sikowski streaking toward the goal. He's knocked off. Loyola, there's a scramble for it. Nick Sassone down there in the corner. Trying to dig it out. He's battling with Jonah Smith. There's a quick wrister into the bread basket. Yeah, easy save for a goalie. Uh, kind of went down in a quick butterfly and gobbled that one up with his, with his uh, catching glove. Christopher Corey, I mean... He's got NHL goalie size. That is a big frame yeah, in look, that net. It looks like he's about 6'1 uh, off the ice and with skates, probably 6'2 and a half, 6'3. Couple of shots in there. Centrilla trying to get it in. Can't do it. Nice checking along the boards. St. Joe's and Loyola setting an early quick pace. Puck out of the air by Henry Molson. Molson. Nice little give and go, but it couldn't, couldn't quite connect. Puck's loose. Couple of pucks on the doorstep. Montreal trying to poke it in. It's still loose, and Prep gets a hold of it. How someone did not poke that in, I do not know. We've got a whistle. Icing is going to be the call. It's going to come back down to the other end. 22.57 left in the first half. No score. Yeah, the, uh, the Hawks goalie, uh, D'Angelo, couldn't quite pick the puck up there. He was da down and looking, looking for it, trying to get his glove on it. Uh, just couldn't quite pick it up. And anytime there's a loose puck, you, you've got you've, you've to be uh, uh, aware of any uh, poke checks. Gianni D'Angelo in goal for St. Joseph's. Taking over the net, Bradley Smith started in the semifinal. But D'Angelo in the pipes this time. In front. Puck knocked out of there by Ronan Egan. Comes back down into their defensive end. Battle along the far boards. Batted down. That shot by Cinquino didn't find the mark. Battle along the near boards now. Puck headed over in front of Loyola's bench. Argento fires one towards the net wide. St. Joe's coming back the other way. Puck laid on the ice for a second. St. Joe's got it. Dumped it into the zone. The Hawks just aren't quite moving their feet like they were this morning. They look a little, uh, little flat, a little lethargic. St. Joe's trying to work it ahead. Back down in, a good hip check down there by Greco. Battle in the corner. Lawton gets it over to Akiyakobati, Yakobachi, and there's a stoppage in play. St. Joe's out of Philadelphia play their home games at the Haverford Stadium. Uh, which is on the Philly main line, which is close to uh, close to Villanova um, and, and their and their school. They regularly pack the place and have two to three hundred kids at a home game. How would you say the uh, 
uh, the the fever of hockey is in the D.C. area compared to other areas? Uh, it's very passionate here. Um, again, you know, we, we've been talking about all day is this, the, the difference between D.C. and a lot of other areas is, is the lack of ice. All right, so once again, hey, people out there, if you have enough money, lay down a sheet of ice. Put some stands up. Let's, let's, uh, let's watch some hockey. Loyola in the offensive end, looking to get on the board first. Good stick work down along the boards. Loyola retaining possession. Looking to get something loose in front. Poked around. Shot stopped. Back comes St. Joe's. Number 20, Nick Champiti. He was very active in the semifinal. He's continuing that activity, trying to shake something loose here in the first half. Watch, watch for uh, St. Joe's to start chipping some pucks and racing for them. That makes them move their feet. In front, Stefanu tried to get it in. Oh, Centrella just missed. He had a wide open side over there for a moment. Could not convert. Back the other way, Ferraro dumps it down the ice. D'Angelo is going to take it. He has to flip it backhand to get it away from the on-rushing defender. Urbani. Up the ice, Nick Urbani. That puck was knocked away. Here's a rush. Molson in front. They cannot convert. He tried to get Humane in the front of the net, and they could not connect. Great play by uh, Stefano, uh, sprawling out, leaving his feet to, to redirect that pass. Molson again with a shot against the glass. Behind the net, 19-10 left to go here in the first half. No score. Here comes St. Joe's. St. Joe's, they don't have the numbers. Looking for an opportunity. Dumps it in. Puck gets back. D'Angelo, he leaves that puck. Here comes Prep again. In the center zone, Loyola, Cinquino. Cinquino drops it off. DeCrisio. There's a long shot from the point by Argento, doesn't get in. St. Joe's back the other way. There's the chipping of the pucks I've been talking about. It forces the player to start moving his feet. Connor Ryan, another one that was very active in the semifinal. Puck goes back down to Loyola. Corre to the left side. Prep with it. Tyler Black. Black behind the net trying to make something happen. Two burgundy shirts there with him. And back the other way. Here comes Loyola. DeCrisio. Greco. Dashed along the boards. There's a shot put near the net by Ferraro. No. Off the glass and back into the Loyola end. Icing is the call. We've got a stoppage in play. That was a heads-up play by Ferraro, who, uh, as the puck was rimmed around, he pulled it off the boards and, uh, and shot it at low on net, and there was a rebound. Draw one by uh, by Saint, by St. Joe's. All right, there is the stoppage in play. Seventeen oh six left, no score. In front, Prep doing work, trying to poke it in. And Montreal just locked down defense in front of the net. 
Back the other way. Lawton. Net comes off the moorings. We've got a stoppage. There was a nice shot by o Owen L L Lawton there, and uh, he directed it off the goalie's, uh, goalie's pad, and the uh, Montreal player uh, shot it wide on the rebound. So let's see if uh, in the last couple of shifts, uh, St. Joe's has really started to get some intensity, and they're getting their legs back. You know, they, they had such a hard-fought game, losing, uh, winning today in a shootout. Uh, it's tough to replicate that same intensity as they had this morning. Number 33, Christopher Corey in goal for Loyola, in goal for St. Joseph's. Number 72, Gianni D'Angelo. Shot in front, stonewalled by D'Angelo. Puck going down to the other end. Icing will stop the clock at 16.25. Yeah, I wonder how much that, that battle, uh, battle royale they had this morning with the Hun School, um, an up and down game, uh, how, much, how much it took out of them, out of their legs, where uh, Loyola uh, kind of controlled the play and, and took, took their time with uh, and dismantling Gonzaga earlier uh, in, that, in their game. That was a great description of that game. That was a battle royale. I mean, action going back and forth. People going in and out, and there's a save that stood D'Angelo up in front of the goal, and we're going to have another face-off. DMVStream.com broadcasts pro, amateur, college, high school, AAU, and youth games in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Live to televisions, computers, and mobile devices like iPads, iPhones, Androids, and more. Find out more at DMVStream.com. Approaching the 16-minute mark of the first half, no score here in the 2016 Purple Puck Championship, the 24th annual Gonzaga National Capital Hockey Tournament. And we thank you all for joining us here for this championship game. St. Joseph's Prep out of Philadelphia, Loyola Montreal out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. One of these two teams will capture the championship. Loyola looking for its first tournament championship. I really like the way uh, Loyola's patient when they have the puck, and they let, they let plays develop before they make a pass. St. Joe's, of course, was the runner-up last year. There's a shot in front that doesn't go. Montreal, Loyola has control of it. Argento through the center zone. D'Angelo smothers it. We're going to have a face-off in the prep end. So that's a smart play by D'Angelo because, as we talked about earlier, they play only two halves, and you start in the opposite end, and it's a long line change. And as you can see, uh, prep's doing the final changes. They had some players that were caught out there, and between commu uh, communicating with their goalie, the goalie uh, froze the puck to get the whistle. Once again, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Fort DuPont Ice Arena, the Gonzaga Purple Eagles, John Cotton, uh, everyone here with these organizations for putting on a wonderful tournament and for inviting DMVStream.com to bring it to you. 14.39 left to go here in the first period. In the first half, there is no score. Sean Parker and Flip Collins bringing you the action from the Fort DuPont Ice Arena in Southeast Washington, D.C. There's a shot clanging off the post. Mark Calavita, he found the back of the net in the semifinal, looking to score again. Loyola has control of it in the center, over the blue line. Molson controlling the puck, looking to dump it in front. It went in front, but could not find any Warriors to take it home. Over in the corner, Michael Urbani. The play is in the middle. Cinquino on the left side, looking to get to the front of the net. Good defense in front by Tyler Black. Puck in the air, back the other way, in the Montreal defensive zone. Jonah Smith has it. 
around the dashboards. Battle, loose puck on the side. Montreal controls. Cinquino tried to get it ahead to Greco, couldn't quite do it. There's a shot that went to the glove side of D'Angelo. Yakobachi couldn't quite, couldn't quite get it home. We've got a stoppage, and we have another face-off. Yeah, from our angle here in the uh, in the press box, uh, D'Angelo kind of likes to flash the little twine there on the left side, co coaxing a player to shoot for it. When he shoots for it, he's going to use his glove to, to grab it quickly. Down in the corner, dug out. Here comes St. Joe's. Sakowski. Backhand right to the front of the net, but it was steered away. Along the boards, Sikowski trying to dig it out. Gets it to the point. Amato in front. Sikowski could not get to it. Loyola trying to clear, but it was stopped at the point by Liam Hankels. And one of the funny things here at uh, Fort DuPont is that puck went up into the ceiling and is stuck in the ceiling, and it's rolling down to the bottom. And you yes. can see the... the uh, there was some insulation or something that was... Uh, the water, <laughs> water coming off the uh, insulation. It's raining down onto the ice. 12.33 left here in the first period. There is no score. Again, the championship of the Purple Puck Tournament up for grabs here between these two teams. Montreal trying to make a break for it, but they are stopped near the blue line. Back the Two other way. One. Here comes Prep. Oh, what a, what a glove save by Christopher Corre. I mean, Demetrio Stefanu gave it a rip, but Mr. Corre flashing the leather and a good save. Stefano gave a quick, quick look over to his uh, uh, wingmate and then ripped it at, uh, at the goalie. Behind the net, Centrella digging for it. Puck pops loose. Centrella sends it near the net. The net, the net is actually off its moorings. I don't think the referee saw it. And finally, finally he blows the whistle. That net was off its moorings for almost a minute. The net was off the mooring, and it went off the referee's skate and almost went in the net. So okay. we have got a stoppage right now in play. Again, this is one of the best ice surfaces in all of uh, in all of DC, and uh, the uh, the ice is so hard; it's tough for them to get the pegs in the ice. Eleven fifty nine remaining here in the first period. And we have a penalty. St. Joseph's on the power play. Going to see if they can't put one home. So we've seen this power play uh, earlier today. They play a 1-3-1. They love to get the puck up on the top, and they're looking for shots and rebounds. So it's a two-minute roughing penalty. 11.43 in the game. 1.45 left on the penalty. Once again, we thank you for joining us here. Nice puck movement here by the Hawks. One twenty five left in the power play. Shot dumped near the net. Now it's behind the net. Prep trying to put one home. Mayor. Mayor now at the point. Shot dumped in by Urbani, by Nick Urbani. 
Urbani at the point. Left-handed slap shot. Blocked. It's going to be sent all the way back down into the St. Joe's prep zone. So when you, when you have a big goalie like that, uh, St. Joe's is trying to screen the goalie, get a lot of traffic, and get some misdirected uh, pucks that hopefully will get, uh, get into the net. We have icing, and we will have a faceoff. 10.36 left in the first half. 38 seconds left in the power play. We have no score. We still, have, still have a lot of time left, but I was starting to, th you know, I was, I was predicting that this was going to be a, you know, five, four, five, you know, somewhere in that, like nine, about nine goals between the, the pace that both teams have been scoring goals on. Well, remember there is a second half. Oh, there is. So, <laughs> so we could very well see all nine of those goals in the second half. St. Joe's headed back up ice. Stefanu. Centrella circling behind the goal. Gets it back over to Stefanu. Centrella, a little two-man job. On the doorstep, there it was. The pass from Connor Ryan in front of the net to number 51, Nick Sassone, tick, and he scores. Tic-tac-toe. That was great passing right there. They took, took a little medicine. Uh, they gave uh, Montreal a little of their own medicine there. Chris Chris, tape to tape passing will do it every time. And then once they got it down on the goal line, they were patient, waited for the goalie and the defenseman to make a move. And then he really just made a pass that was redirected into the net.